So when we talk about eating foods that are balanced, we're talking about balance with good fats, protein, and carbohydrates as well. And I'm gonna explain to everyone how these are absorbed differently into your body and why having all of it together is key to good health. So when you take a bite of foods, enzymes immediately in your saliva start breaking down that food. And then as you swallow it and it gets into the stomach, a lot of things are at interplay here. So pretend this is a meal. Consider these gray dots to be simple sugars. Yellow dots are fat. The, the red dots are proteins, and immediately those purple enzymes are starting to break down proteins into amino acids. And you also see these white dots, which are complex carbohydrates, being broken down as well. This milieu, all of this happening, actually will prevent the immediate absorption of all that sugar so you don't get a massive blood sugar spike. What happens in your small intestine is things get broken down further. Fats get surrounded by bile, which are those green dots. So fats are broken down so they can be absorbed in the small intestine. You are further breaking down protein into amino acids, which get, which get absorbed. An interesting thing also happens in the small intestine. Fats, having fat helps you absorb vitamins A, vitamin D, E, and K. So having fat is key. But the veggies we just talked about, loaded with fiber, why is fiber important? It adds bulk to your stool so that you can be regular. One of the most underrated things in life is having regular bowel movements, folks. Everyone's laughing, but come oh, yeah. on. Anyone ever been constipated? It's not fun. <laughs>